always comes up when people are talking about their leadership talent in organizations is this whole notion of presence. Today's episode, I want to explore a little bit more about what this presence thing really means. And when I ask, what exactly are we talking about when we're talking about this, just so that we get a clear definition, no one is really able to define it succinctly or define it so that people can really understand what it is. Because we're talking about an integration of qualities that can can be can be squishy. So we're gonna get squishy here and we're gonna talk about the feeling people have when they're around you because that's what people are talking about um, when they're talking about your presence. They're talking about the feeling they have when they're around you or the impression you're making. What I see presence being is the integration of five components and I call them the portals, the, the portals to power presence. And the first portal to power presence is what you think. All the thoughts that are going on around in your head make up how you're gonna come across. So whatever it is I'm thinking, energetically that will show up in my body, it'll show up in the way I'm projecting myself and people are energetic beings and they pick up energetic cues. So that's the one portal is what we think. The other portal is what, how we appear. How we appear is important. People see you and they're forming an impression. And whether we like it or not, the reality is that we form impressions based on how people appear. Being intentional about that appearance and how we, the appearance we want to project. What's the impression I want to convey with my appearance uh, is a critical component of a powerful presence. The third portal of power presence is what we say. Here's the thing about this. People are not inside your head. I know we think that people can read our minds, but they can't. And all they know is what we say and what we do. And I'll get to what we do as another portal in a minute. But what we say is what people see that of things that are coming outside of our head. So all the intentions we have, all the motivations, all the reasons why I'm saying this, people don't see it. What we say, how we say it, the tone we use, the confidence in which we say it, all of those things impact the presence that we're conveying to others. The fourth component of power presence is what we do. What we do, our actions convey our presence. What I mean by that is I can say one thing, but I do another. I can say I value people, and yet every time somebody comes in my office, I'm staring at my smartphone or I'm looking at my computer. So what I'm really doing is I'm not only contradicting myself, but my actions are now speaking much more loudly than what I just said, and they're sending a message about what it's like to be in my presence. If people are watching our actions, they're watching what we're saying, but they're also watching the actions and these things integrate. They're not separate. And the fifth portal of power presence is how you make people feel. How do people feel when they're around you? That's part of your presence. Do people feel exhausted after they've talked to you uh, because every statement you've made is a negative one? How you make people feel is a big piece of what it's like to be in your presence. But when you combine those five portals and you, you take the, all five of those things, if you, you take what you think, how you appear, what you say, what you do, and how you make people feel and you put them together, that's your presence. What's that like? What's that like in interacting with you? What I really focus on when I'm talking about presence is that you're in charge of that. You are in charge of your presence. And what we do is we are, I mean, we're inside our heads. And so we're just reacting to our environment most of the time. And we're not really giving too much thought to, what do I want people to feel when they're in my presence? How 
do I align my actions and my words so that they're in sync? How do I choose the words? How do I choose the actions that are most in alignment with my most powerful self? And how do I choose the thoughts that I want to be thinking that are most in alignment with the person I want to be? That's power presence. When you are in the place of learning to choose who you are, no matter how long you've been a leader, we all can use a little help in working on the power of our presence and what it's like to be in our presence, because that really is the crux of leadership. And that power presence is choosing in the moment the responses that we have to the environment, choosing in the moment who we want to be, choosing in the moment our actions, and choosing how we make people feel. All of those things that I always talk about. If you'd like some help creating a more powerful presence, give me a call. Whether you're moving into a new position or you've been in a leadership position for a very long time, I can help you really think about and reflect upon these five portals, uh, do a self-assessment uh, on these areas for yourself, and come up with a plan to create a more powerful presence as a leader. Thanks for watching. And always remember this, every single moment you have a choice in what you say, what you do, and how you make people feel. Pause and make those choices intentionally and wisely because every single moment, those choices are who you become.